induction heating system has actually been very great for the plating the columns and welding on the side. It saves a ton of time with the preheat setup. Instead of welding three inches, preheating, and then welding three inches, it's been excellent just to slap the uh, coil on the side of the column. We have an eight foot setup, which with two guys, one on each side of the column welding, and that keeping that temp up saves probably half the time or more of preheating. What we ended up doing with the coils for the unit was taking a eight foot sheet of plywood, cutting it down to the size of our column plate and zip tying our uh, coils to it and just clamping that to the edge of the column and then when that side is done and heated you can just unclamp it, move it to the other side, it makes it very easy to get around. Actually the system setup was set up very easily, it's pretty much simple to use. It's easy to program in, just hit the start button and let it go. On our bigger plates, the heat induction unit by far heats up the plate faster than taking a weed burner or a rose butt on a torch. It's been very important to have an even heating system. That way your welds, if you're welding on the plate and trying to heat the column at the same time with a weed burner or a torch, it seems like it's very hard to keep the heat consistent, which they're worried about as an inspection uh, standpoint on cracking the welds and with this heat induction unit that heat flows right through the plate evenly and heats the column evenly. It will be a lot easier because you don't have to switch out the fuel so often and yes storing them you have to set up your own site and cages with all your right signage and everything else. It's this you can just roll in you don't have to worry about none of that. Not only uh, the fuel aspect of it as the preheating but the fuel as like running it, being in the electric, just hooking it up into the building, you're not, you don't have to run a giant generator, you can just hook it in and go. I think over the long run, yes, the machine would actually pay itself between the cost of acetylene and oxygen or propane heating it. And yes, the productivity of it jumps way up.